the bedtime story for July 6th, David and Abigail. David took his sheep far out into the country to eat grass. There were so many sheep to be cared for that David had several young men to help him. A man named Nabal had a big flock of sheep too. He sent the shepherds who worked for him to the same place where David was. David's men and Nabal's men took care of their sheep without quarreling. At night, they helped each other to watch and see that no wild animals harmed the sheep. It was the time of year to shear the wool from the sheep. David heard that Nabal was near shearing his sheep. David had never seen Nabal, but he wanted to be his friend. He sent some of his young men to talk with Nabal. David sends you greetings, they said. He wants to be your friend. Nabal was a cross man. Who's David, he asked. I never heard of him. I don't want to be his friend. When the young men told David what Nabal had said, he was very angry. We shall go and fight him, said David. Now Nabal's wife was named Abigail. She was not cross like her husband. She was kind. Abigail was sorry when she heard what Nabal had done. She knew that this was not the right way to treat visitors. She hurried to get some food for a present for David and his men. She climbed onto her little donkey's back and rode to meet David. When she saw him coming, she bowed low to him. I'm sorry my husband was so cross to you, she said. I hope you will forgive him. I've brought you a present. How kind you are, said David. You make me ashamed that I was ready to fight. I am no longer angry. Thank you for the good food. And so they didn't fight. I'm glad of that. And I think David was glad of it also. Well, that's the end. Time to go to bed and say your prayers. And always remember that God loves you. And I love you too. Good night. Mm-hmm.